First of all, Mark, congratulations on your new deal. You must be delighted to get it done and, and pledge your long-term future to the club. Yeah, delighted to, to sign an extension. Yeah, I think it's exciting times for us. I think everybody's enjoying what's happening at the moment and we can see that there's, there's more progress to be made and uh, we want to see how far we can take, take the club. Was it always a case of when, not if? Yeah, for, for me it was. Um, I think, uh, obviously, it came here 18 or so months ago. Um, and it's gone as well as I could have hoped for. I'm delighted that we've been able to keep progressing every year. This year has been more difficult than last year because of circumstances and injuries, but we've still uh, been very competitive. And uh, I think next year we, we can we can do even better with a, a little bit more investment and um, we can see how far we can go. And uh, I think continuity is huge, I think, in football, certainly in, in the Premier League as well. And um, and hopefully this extension to the contract will will give that continuity both to, to the club, obviously to myself um, and to the players um, because they understand that this is going to be a continuity in work and in, in people that they're working with and I think that helps players because they know what to expect and, uh, and they know the quality of the work they're going to get so um, I think that's important moving forward. Recalling back to when we first met you when you signed the first contract you always said that you wanted to take the club forward, move it on to that next level. Has it surprised you how quickly the team have, have made that step? I th um, if I'm honest, yeah, probably. Yeah, I think we, we're probably uh, 12 months ahead of where we probably thought we would be, uh, only because of the efforts of the of the players, really. Um, I've said many times to you that uh, since I've come in, they've really embraced everything that we've we put in front of them and, and made things happen and, and made the change in the way we play yeah, made it easier and, and more progressive because uh, with their commitment to it and their, their attitude to it towards uh, new work and new ways of working I think that's enabled it to uh, bed down as quickly as as we wanted it to more so um, we probably as I said we're probably ahead of where we thought we would be at the moment you hear this word on that progress, but how difficult is it to, to manage a team with this expectations, the, the expectancy levels of the sport, isn't it? Well, yeah, but, but I've said many times that I, I don't mind expectation. I, I think it's, in, it's important that uh, our fans have um, belief and expectation and, uh, and hope, and, and they want to see how far we can go, and they want to be excited by that. And uh, I've never been one to turn to play the potential of the group that I've got. I always try to push them forward and, and try to raise expectations. It's, at times it's, it's high risk because you can disappoint people if uh, you don't quite achieve what you feel you're capable of. But uh, I'll always try and raise expectations if I can. Uh, I think um, people don't want to be told that you're just looking to stay in the league. They want to be told that you, you're chasing trophies, you're, you're looking for good cup runs and you're looking to progress and be a top ten side. That's, I've always viewed it and uh, that won't change in the, in the coming seasons. You just mentioned the cup run this year, ultimately disappointed in the end, getting out to Blackburn. Long term, is that a main ambition of yours to have to do? Yeah, well, well you, you see by my approach to the cup competition, I've always gone strong in, in them. Um, my view is always this, that there's only so many trophies that we're in that we can realistically have an opportunity to to go all the way in, so why limit your chances? Uh, you may as well have a real goal and see how far you can go. Um, there's plenty of games in the season, players will get games as well. It's important to obviously use a squad, but um, I think it's it's important that you, you progress as far as you can. If you if if you want to go far, then you've got to play strong teams in mind. Two months of this season left, eighth, the ambition I'd imagine, and, and trying to achieve more points than you accumulated last year. Yeah, well, achieve more points, yeah. I mean, um, whether or not that will, will be enough for, for eighth, ninth, tenth, we, we don't know because uh, every season's different. But uh, certainly at the beginning of the year, we wanted to beat our total from last year. That was our intention. We were on track for that. We've um, had two defeats, but uh, in fairness, the last time out, um, I thought we were excellent apart from obviously two mistakes. And, and at the level we, we operate, then uh, you can be you can be penalised for any mistakes that uh, you make unfortunately on the day we were but um, performance wise we were fine and I was really encouraged again so for the most part the season has been uh, really satisfying I think everybody's enjoyed what we've tried to do 
uh, we've been compromised sometimes with injuries and, um, and mistakes that have held us back. But uh, for the most part, I think it's been a really a season of progress because of the circumstances we had to deal with.